What's up guys? We got ourselves uh, a 2016 ZX-10. We have it on the dyno. We're gonna see uh, what kind of horsepower it's making right now before the flash. And uh, it's already flashed by another company. Um, the problem is, is he wants to change some parameters and the guy that originally flashed it isn't here. So when you do flash a bike, it's very important to find somebody that is local for you. So that way you can make an ECU change right then and there. It is so annoying when you own a bike to send your ECU off, get it fixed, get it back, and then you're you have two weeks downtime, and it sucks. So always find somebody local. All right. So all right. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get the ECU right here. Okay, it's already plugged in, but we plug it in, and then um, all the ECUs have a part number. This one is that part number. So I go in here, I click new. Um, and then I pick the bike that we're working on and then I pick the part number um, If you notice there's a bunch of different versions of it So I just pick one of them just as long as the last four are the same and then I go over to tools and I have read part number and serial number and then um, basically it Does its work then I go ahead it go ahead and says that's the part number and then do I open with serial number? I click yes and then I go in here and a couple of things that I do. First off is I go to configuration and I and I unify everything to the lower injector on all fuel stuff. Um, I don't unify that and I do unify that. And basically what that means is, is I'm able to make timing changes really easy and fast. Um, then I'll go over here and I set my my speed limiter to, or not my speed limiter, I'm sorry. I set my engine RPM limiter to whatever I want. So in this case, it's a street bike. So we'll probably go a little lower than normal. I go ahead and uncheck the speed limiter and then um, go to advanced settings. I set my fan temperature. I like to run 90, 85. And then I just disable all emissions. So we don't run we don't run an O2 sensor, we don't run our exhaust servo, we don't run the pair, we don't run the intake valve, we don't run the purge valve. We go ahead and disable deacceleration fuel cut. What that is is when you let off the gas, the stock bikes turn off all your fuel injection. So what that does is that uh, makes a very obnoxious on off throttle so we go ahead and turn that off we get rid of fuel acceleration fuel consumption and then obviously we get rid of the disable fan fault code and then in here um i don't like the stock rpm i think that's a little too low just because uh it makes it very lopy and um i don't like the fact that at low rpm the bike likes to not have enough oil pressure. So I probably run them around the 1200 range. Um, quick shifter stuff, I leave it alone. And that's it. After this, I'm ready to write. All right, so I've made all my changes that I wanna do. So what I do is I go ahead and hit write ECU. Um, it's gonna ask you if you wanna save it. I always hit no. And then it's gonna want me to power it on. So I plug in the power to the ECU and we're all good to go. You basically just wait for it to give you the command, the command prompt to finish. And it starts the percentage and once it's done, you're all good to go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 